Welcome to Giant Monster Games and Crafts. Today, we're going to be turning this heart-shaped box, which I got at a craft store, into a pixel box. Or rather, we're going to paint it so it looks like it's made out of pixels. First of all, we need to cut these out. The heart is going to go on top, and this gray band is actually going to go around the sides and make it look like there's a metal pixel kind of uh, border around the bottom of the box. Using acrylic paint, I'm going to quickly go and prime this box. I'm not going to completely cover it in white. I'm going to leave some little texture variations so we get some extra variation in our pixel art. I'm going to time lapse this for you guys so you don't have to watch me slowly paint an entire box. While our paint dries, we're going to grab a piece of charcoal, flip over our pieces of paper, and rub it all over the back. Once we have that done and the top of our box is nice and dry, we are going to take our heart, place it on top, line it up so it is as centered as you can possibly get it, then we're going to tape down the edges. Tape down one side first and then do the exact same on the other side. Grab yourself a pencil and we are going to trace out a grid using the pixels on the heart as our template. Peel off our template, and like a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, we... we have a grid. Let's do the same treatment to the bottom of the box. It's time to start painting. Quite simply, we're gonna match the colors on our reference sheet here with the actual colors of the paint. I start out painting the outer edge in the darkest colors possible. Notice how I'm not actually using straight black. It's an extremely dark red. Jumping ahead a little bit, it's time to get our learning on. First of all, I decided I was gonna try and paint every single square on this heart individually with its appropriate colors. Turns out, this is not a very good way of approaching how to paint pixel art because you end up with white little patches here, and you go over the lines there, and it really, really does not work very well. Eventually, I ended up giving up, and I ended up painting the entire thing red, and then painting colors over top of it to enhance or uh, dehance, desaturate, darken, uh, the colors that I actually wanted on this heart. Something to make note of with that point, though. The flat color that I paint over top, as you can see here, is actually not covering up the black lines we put down. So I was still able to easily go over and put in the proper colors where I actually needed them to be on our grid. So lesson to you if you're going to paint a heart similar to this, or if you're going to do painted pixel art, it's a lot easier to paint a flat color over top of everything and then start working off of that as your base. So that was my learned lesson for uh, this project so far.
And there we have it. I have finished the bottom of the box off screen so you guys don't have to watch another two minute time lapse video of me painting basically the same kind of thing. I learned uh, my lesson and I went and painted this one all flat gray and then I put in all the other colors over top of it. I'm gonna go and hit this box with a matte spray paint finish right now so we don't have this super duper shiny box. The next step I got some felt here and we're gonna line the inside of the box. We start out by taking a pencil and tracing the bottom of the box onto the felt. Then cut out two of these hearts and a strip to go inside the box. Grab your handy dandy glue gun and taking one of these hearts, glue the entire bottom side of it and stick it into the box, tamp it down good and solid so you have the bottom part of your inner lining. Then grab the strip we cut for our inner lining and repeat the process, throwing it inside the box. I'm gonna skip forward so you don't watch me fumble through this for at least five minutes. There you go. And now let's flip this box over and glue the last piece of felt we have onto the bottom of the box. The absolute last thing I did was painted the inside of the top of the box. It was just gray before, or brown I guess. So now it is a nice, beautiful heart red. Now let's take a look at the final product. Thanks for watching Giant Monster Games. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And while you're here, take a look at some of our past videos. Like always, don't forget to game like a giant monster.